Well, in typical dumbass fashion. I uh, picked the first day in two weeks that it's rained to be the day that I start working on this thing. It's uh, time to look into putting these tires on the Jeep Finder. These are 34 by 10 and a half inch Super Swamper TSLs. They're tall and skinny, which is the secret to putting big tires on a WD21 Nissan Pathfinder, which is what this is. It's a 95 Nissan Pathfinder. They're all the same from 1987 through 1995. So uh, you got one of those. You can put these tires on with practically no lift, which is the plan. So it's uh, raining on us and Buzzy Track's gonna piss us off, but uh, let's jack this thing up. Let's get some of the tires off and then the fender flares gotta come off because uh, I'm gonna wreck them. And then we're gonna bolt the tires on and we'll see how clearances are uh, before we do any cutting or pounding. Let's drag the jack out in the rain, in the gravel, and uh, get this thing in the air. Right, Puss? He's the dumbass. Dropped his ball. Down in there. What's your plan, dummy? What are you gonna do about that? You don't have a plan. So, I spun the stock uh, 31s off, and uh, I could try to put the Super Swampers on right now, um, but if I'm gonna have to do any trimming at all, the fender flares are gonna have to go, so I may as well take them off now before I screw them up. They actually look to be in pretty nice shape. They've even got the uh, mud flaps. Bust out the uh, 10 mil, and uh, we'll spin these bad boys off of there. Now, when we take the fenders off, you can see why everyone's rockers rots over right there. Because the stupid fender flares hide, trap a whole bunch of wet dirt in there. Anyways, she's a wee bit crusty back here. We're not gonna worry about that. Oh, and if you don't have one of these little magnet trays, pff, you are missing out, I tell ya. Well, we got some bad news. The uh, frame is crispier than I realized on either side of the pan hard. So probably gonna wanna do something about that in the longer term. Um, probably just do a nice big fish plate across there because there is a bit of torque on this when you flex it out and I don't wanna rip this right off the side of the frame. So then it's a big problem. Right on the plus side, Check this out. Ah, uh, yeah. Now, we're winning. Got these bad boys mounted up. And uh, quite frankly, there's gonna be very little, if any, trimming actually needed. And then here, same thing. It's gonna be real close, but uh, we're gonna find out if it uh, rubs at all. So let's go. Uh, flex it out on one of these rocks and we'll see if uh, how the clearances are. Well we're after a great start. I just backed up. I'm making the first turn and uh, well let's listen shall we. Stuff's pretty good. She's a wee bit tight there. Not bad though, really. Hitting right on the front there when I turn, so it doesn't like that. But overall, it's not so bad. Okay, well now we're down near the gate. 
We got the rear fully flexed out again. Yeah, you can see the rubs in the front there. It's grabbing onto the fender. So uh, let's cut that off. We'll zip her back up to the house. We'll zip that off of there. gotta go and zip it out out of there looking at how things go here oh, love the line already we're off to a good start this is why I'm not a pinstriper but hey let's zip it there perfect look at that that's some clearance right there let's go uh Guessing maybe what the other side looks like and zip it. Perfect. That should be good in the front. Here we got this. Minty rust hole anyways. So, didn't need much though. So we're just gonna do the same. Oh. Same thing. If I was smarter, I'd try to take out all the rust, but hey. Perfect. Now, if I was less of a scabber, I would have left a little flap so I could fold it over and weld it in. But it's a cheap finder. I don't care. That is pretty much good enough. Let's not worry too much about these problems. It's not what we're here for. I'm also going to fold this uh, flat rim in at the top, pound it in, and then it won't get hit. Let the tire tuck right up inside there without uh, pushing up against there. All right, well, trim the fenders and uh, time to take another hot lap down the uh, driveway. See if we uh, get any rubbish. I also scabbed up this quick and dirty camera mount. Gotta love the AeroPress coffee filter funnel and then a piece of EMT conduit, but uh, this stick that I'm using can tuck it right in there. Works mint. Oh, no real bad rubby sound on the back up there. That's a good sign. Flex her out over here like we did last time. So, it's right there that we're rubbing. So I didn't quite trim enough. But uh, we're gonna give her a little sledge hammy on the other side. See if we can just uh, make it happen. Because it's the perfect time, as we're all flexed out. So yeah, we're gonna give her a little love right there. A little love tap. So we're just trying to fold this lip in now. So we got a better flex out the front this time too. We're fully on the bump stops. We're just touching there. So where I trimmed in the front, looks like it's gonna be good enough. Sweet, spin it around to the other side. Let's check out the other side. Oh, nice, look at that tuck. Absolutely perfect. Whew.
think we're good. I think we're real good. Set it back up. We'll find out. So there we go. Honestly, that's all the amount of work that you have to do to put 34 by 10 and a half inch super swampers on a 1995 WD 21 Nissan Pathfinder. I uh, cut about two inches out of the front of the front side here. I cut about two inches out of the back of the back side. And then I pounded up that uh, lip underneath all the way around. And uh, I have to do a couple little hits with the sledge right on this lip right here. Uh, it was real close. I don't think it's actually gonna hit, but I'll give it a couple sledges. Other than that, that's bone stock height. 1995 XE Nissan Pathfinder with uh, 34 by 10 and a half inch super swampers. I'm, uh, I should have measured what the backspacing on the rims is before I bolted them up. So I believe they're four and a quarter inch backspace rims, which is very close to the same as the stock Lego rims. And uh, that's why they tuck in the rear so nicely at full flex. So I think I'm gonna have to pack up my gear, take it out into the woods tomorrow. But uh, I see the question asked all the time online, what is the biggest tire size you can fit on a stock Nissan Pathfinder? 34 by 10 and a half. As long as you don't care about cutting this much steel out of the front of the front fender and the rear of the back fender. I don't care. You've seen my other car. Cutting things off. Ain't no problems. Right, Paz? Let's, uh, Get the gear packed up, and uh, we're gonna have to go for some barbecuing tomorrow. I uh, got the 34s on the Jeep Finder yesterday, and uh, went to load all the gear in it. The starter wouldn't start. There you go, now you got them over. Oh! <laughs> oh, nice. Nick's taking the man line. Attaboy. Oh, and he's gonna roll. Nice. It's gotten a lot slipperier as the day has gone on here. It's a little bit moist out here. 